All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, um, going to be talking about Foreigner and how they're being pelted with objects while they're trying to do concerts. This is a really bad and dangerous trend. Um, here's a good trend, though, before I get there. If you like Foreigner, I'm thinking you might like FM. You don't know who FM is. <laughs> um, go listen to any of their albums. This is their latest. It's called 13 because it's their 13th album and they did the whole spooky album cover thing. Uh, and it wasn't really good luck for the band because everybody here in the United States continues to ignore this great band. Um, the lead singer is the same gentleman who sings for the band Lone Rider. His name is Steve Overland. And if you like Lone Rider, you might like FM. They sound a bit like Foreigner. Um, and by the way, you'll hear all of these more classic-oriented things on Modern Retro Radio, modernretrofm.com. Wanted to give them a plug because uh, I'm over there and I'm doing voiceover work and just a great old time. You never know what you're going to hear next over at modern retro radio it's kind of like my channel you never know what topic i'm going to cover next this time kelly hansen is sounding off you know kelly hansen the current singer of foreigner uh foreigner by the way on their farewell tour and mick jones i don't think anyone is seeing mick jones out there if you've seen mick jones on tour with foreigner um go over to patreon or do something like um wave your hands in the air i don't <laughs> but if you're a patron and you've gone to see foreigner let me know if you've seen mick jones now um kelly hansen has weighed in on the troubling behavior which is trending with younger audiences at live music shows really really so me i'm just the old man yelling at the cloud on my front lawn nobody's listening nobody cares okay boomer shut up all that fun stuff yet these boomers are on stage trying to perform in the case of foreigner they're just trying to get out of there alive at this point they've toured long enough kelly hansen doesn't want to ruin his voice or embarrass the legacy of the band so uh they've decided to call it quits now they could tour I've heard into 2025 would be interesting, but uh, this is definitely their last tour. Um, so the trend at these shows um, has to do with throwing things at the artist to catch their attention. All right. Um, so it's all about, again, this, this is like social media pranksterism. This is let me put this on TikTok. I'll throw my cell phone at Kelly Hansen because I'll just get another phone because my parents will pay for it, that kind of thing. Um, and this, by the way, sort of dovetails with that Miranda Lambert thing I talked about where all the girls in the front row get up and Lambert is in the middle of this song. Now, um, people were saying to me, well, they paid a lot of money. They're in the front row. They can do what they want to. How about watch the show? How about re be respectful to the artist? Um, this idea that I spent a lot of money so I can just disrupt the show. That's what that was. Uh, Miranda Lambert smartly stopped the performance and said, oh no, I'm not gonna continue. I'm here to play some country music. Uh, she needs to be able to focus on what she's doing. And do you think it's easy being a lead singer, being up there and performing and hitting all the notes correctly and your timing and your inflection and all of the stuff that has to just work out every single night. And these people are there, oh, it's about me. I want to get a selfie of me. I want to see if I can, you know, use her as like my wallpaper background, Miranda Lambert. And in the case of throwing stuff, I'm going to get his attention and then I'll post it. I'll post it on social media. And I'll be a big celebrity, a big star. This is what, by the way, this is why I'm losing. I'm just going to be, I mean, there are a number of reasons why I'm losing. Some people would say I'm a loser. But um, besides that, because, you know, when you start off really good and you get a little bit better and now you're starting to go downhill, there's a trend. 
people are bored. They don't want to watch 10 minute videos. They want to watch one minute of craziness because I see it. Every kid, I'm watching YouTube shorts. I'm watching TikTok. And it's just one, one, another one, another one. It just, it's like, whoa, I just, can't you focus on anything? No wonder we have a huge problem uh, with education in this country. Because kids, you've got to be able to focus for more than a minute on something or you're not going to learn anything. All right. So the old man continues to yell at the cloud. So I will uh, read some more. Uh, when you're standing on stage and you have a spotlight on, this is a really good point. What it does is it blinds you. And this is what Kelly Hansen told Fox News in a new interview. You can't see the audience. So you can't see anything that's coming at you. It's very, very dangerous. And over the course of time, I've had many things thrown up on stage, including full unopened cans of beer. Whoa, so they spent 14 bucks to try to hit Kelly Henson with a beer can. Yeah. He goes on to say, it's tough because at the best, I can see something right at the last minute when it crosses the spotlight. And they go on to talk about several other high-profile performers, including B.B. Rexa, Kelsey Ballerini. I don't know who they are. Sorry, people. Again, you're dealing with an old dude here. Just like everything else, someone sees that and they go, oh, that's a thing, a bandwagon to get on. Kelly told Fox News, let me do that. I'll be funny and I'll get some kind of TikTok out of it. There you go. See, I didn't even know he was going to say that. But they're not thinking they're hurting somebody. And supposedly somebody that they like, that they're to see, yeah, that they're supposed to go and actually watch the concert. This is mind-blowing. So people are paying really good money to go to concerts. And the concert is secondary. It becomes about them. It is, who can I pelt with this beer? Um, how many selfies can I get in the front row um, while the concert is going on? It's one thing to take a picture of yourself. Say you're in the arena. And a lot of people do this. And I don't fault them to, you know, to do it while... There isn't a concert going on, and they're not. The other thing they're doing is obstructing the view of people behind them. This happens all the time. It'll just be a minute. I just have to get this shot. And then they don't get the shot right the first time, so they got to take another shot. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, man, I deleted it. All right, let me, let me try that again. Dude, dude, I, I'm missing the entire show. I'm distracted. I mean... Are you listening to this guitar solo? No, you're not. You don't care. I mean, it happened during the Journey show. Um, Neil Sean is playing this epic guitar solo. And all these distractions and people talking. And then, you know, people think it's a great time to hit the uh, the concourse and, and either buy stuff or go to the bathroom or uh, spend more money on $14 beer, you know, beer cans and bottles that they can throw at the artist on stage. Um it is perplexing to me. And it's not like this stuff hasn't happened before, but it was more isolated. There was a beer bottle incident with Journey and Steve Perry, like he basically berated the audience in a way which I think was like, oh crap, Uncle Steve is mad. We shouldn't have done that, huh? And those are people who are probably just intoxicated because there was no TikTok. There was no social media to get likes and views and clicks so it was more just hey let's just throw this beer bottle it'll be just a great I'll have a great time and nobody will care and uh oops you know and then hopefully those people felt like crap and they never did it again and i think that was probably the case most of the time but now this is just let's see what kind of stunt we can do to get like a billion views on social media. So because I don't do stunts on this channel, this is my problem. There are no stunts here. It's just me talking into the microphone, yelling at the cloud and trying to stay relevant, even though um, just like classic rock, it's all like fading away. So, you know, let's not go see Foreigner. Let's not go see Miranda Lambert. Let's just go to this event and see if we can, you know, become celebrities ourselves for you know a few minutes 
what was it? Andy Warhol said that everyone gets 15 minutes of fame and um, mine's almost up. Foreigner, theirs is almost up too. There are a lot of these bands that are just trying to earn a living on their way out the door and not destroy their legacy uh, as they do it. But uh, apparently there are a lot of fans that would rather make it about them. All right, so that's the point. And even Kelly Hansen, I didn't even know he was going to do that. He's like, yeah, they're going to get a TikTok moment out of it. Really? Really? So you would risk injury on the star of the show or one of the people on the stage, anybody who is valuable to the band. No wonder why Mick Jones would rather stay at home. (laughs) That makes sense now. Mick Jones avoiding the con he could he could put out a statement saying i'm worried about my safety so i've decided you know i may not be feeling well and you know just tired of this touring and all this stuff and so i've decided just to stay home just to say stay safe you know i'm i'm sheltering in place (laughs) mick jones sheltering in place anyway these guys they're still out there fm they're from the uk And so if you live over there, you might be able to see FM play a concert. I'm hopeful that Steve Overland is working on another Lone Rider project, because that's like my favorite. I mean, I got the two Lone Rider albums, and I will get the third one if and when it comes out. Again, want to thank everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, please. Uh, I need your support over on Patreon if you can do it. And yeah, members. YouTube memberships. I hit a milestone that I didn't even know about. So if you want to just hit the join button over there, and there'll be a link on how to do that in the description of this video, which of course helps me offset the algorithm, which is geared toward people who are throwing stuff at other people, people trying to get clicks and views, you know, the easy way by just capturing something crazy That lasts for 30 seconds. But that's where we're at right now, folks. That's our attention span. Oh, the future is bright. It's so bright. Remember, I used to wear shades. Now I wear these things. All right. I'm definitely done, folks. Uh, See if you can help me out over on Patreon. And of course, God bless you and God bless the world. See you soon.